my name is uh, Sean Ngozidaka. Uh, I came to know about the family of Jesus Christ Church of All Believers the end of 2012, that is around December. Uh, the situation was that uh, I didn't like uh, going to church uh, because I was in the world, like totally in the world. I was a person of um, alcohol and smoking. That was my life. It was a sinful life. The thing was, uh, I was previously enrolled at the University of Zambia and I dropped out due to financial challenges. So it was the, that was the seventh year. Uh, the kind of life I led was a horrible life. And it was as a result of the frustration that, uh, you know, after testing uh, the ground at the University of Zambia, your other colleagues graduate, you know, they're becoming, they're rising there and you're out there. So, you know, you, you lose hope. So you resort to li a life where you know, and uh, when you're out there, you know, people tease, you know, because they'll be saying, oh, why did you go to the number? Why did you go to the number? Why did you go to the number? And stuff like that. It was so shameful. So to hide that shame, you know, you hide in the alcohol and the smoking and, you know, very horrible life. Being found in places where when I think about now, I'm even scared that I used to be in those places and walk those late nights. Yeah, and uh, um, I was totally hopeless and I, I never thought I would be where I am now. Uh, I was drinking to die. I was moving late so that I could be attacked and just die so that I get out of the frustration that was going on. Because you know, when you get drunk, you 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 feel you are there, but in the morning you are back to the same 2013 that I dropped out from the University of Zambia. So the plans were by May. Uh, the family were making arrangements, uh, cousins and stuff, put up money together. Maybe I can start at Zamim, cut what, and rise from there. So the man of God asked me, uh, so when are you starting the same school? after I had a chat with him after those prayers. So I said, May. Then uh, he had a previous uh, chat with uh, my woman then, uh, where I'd been. So he, sh he was told that I was previously enrolled at the University of Zambia. So he told me that, but uh, what I feel is that you should go back to where you were. So he told me, let's keep on trusting God. Uh, and then I was like, uh, what is he talking about? <laughs> so May came, May came, uh, and uh, unfortunately the thing to go to Zamim did not materialize. So the man of God in May sent me to the University of Zambia to say, go and check what you are owing and whether you are eligible to start school again. So I went back sent me back. I went there with a photocopy of um, the sticker from Squan, bearing the portrait of the man of God, uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua. I folded it and it was always moving in my pocket and a bottle of uh, anointing water then. That is 2013, May. I reached there, <coughs> so I went to the school. I went to meet the assistant dean at the School of Mines. So he told me, okay, you are back, you are a student, eh? Okay, let me take you to the registrar so that you are, we get you enrolled. The registrar, the assistant registrar from the school said, ah, this is beyond me, I can't do it. Uh, this has to go, should start from the vice chancellor. So I went to the vice chancellor the vice chancellor told me to write a letter to him. So I wrote a letter to the vice chancellor. And the very day, there was a response from the vice chancellor. But unfortunately, 
where a letters are supposed to be received was at the assistant dean's office, but the letter went to the dean's office. So I was not aware that the letter, or the response was already there. So three, day, three days later, I checked with the vice chancellor's office and I was told that the letter has been dispatched. And unfortunately, I didn't know what was contained in the letter, whether I was uh, to be readmitted or I was rejected. So after making several efforts, tried to check with the dean's office, the secretary found the letter, and the letter actually said that uh, should, I'm enrolled, I, should, I can go back. So I took that letter, said, give me a photocopy so that I show it to the assistant dean, because the one who was to things in the system. Took it there. So everything opened up, the balances that I had, and the academic office had already opened up everything. So all, I, all I said was, oh, I wish I'd carried all my belongings so that I start class. Because classes had already started, actually, it was uh, three weeks in progress. So then I realized that actually what the man of God asked me when I'm going back, the response I was given, I thought it was for the other side, but meanwhile it was for my original destiny. That's how I started school, under the sponsorship of the Family of Jesus Church of All Believers, under the man of God, Pastor Felix Mleng. That was 2013. Progressed up to 2016. That's when I completed my studies and graduated in uh, January 2017. And this is the certificate, the degree of entry, the Bachelor of uh, Science, Bachelor of Mineral Sciences in Geology. Yeah, and uh, surprisingly, after seven years, I only to find that actually I was only owing uh, about 1,800 kwacha. So seven years later, it was like a small amount, but it was a huge amount then. Yeah, and um, from, because the situation at Tunza is that when you're enrolled in first year, you pay the same fees until you graduate. Okay, so I ended up, uh, the fees were about 15,000 plus. Yeah, so that's what uh, the ministry was footing annually. Yeah, um, I worked with, uh, I first uh, got employed with uh, some firm from Kitwe, which we did some explorations from the northwestern side. From there, I moved to Mimbula, Mimbula. I worked in Indola also with some other firm, but now I'm currently working for Kaja Mining. I'm a production geologist. And I'm working uh, at Kajam in Lufanyama as one of the production geologists there. Yeah, and um, I'm believing God for more blessings, unlocking more blessings upon my life. From zero, um, we now I'm now married and with three kids. Yeah, I'm living happily, and uh, I all give it and owe it to God my father in the Lord, and uh, Promise TV partners who've made it uh, possible for me to be educated because um, uh, this is one of the benefits of the being a partner. So it's not that I benefited because I was a partner. I was not a partner. I was nothing but because of your hand, your support, I'm here now, I can testify of the goodness of the Lord because of your hand. And uh, I'd like to encourage all the partners and other people also listening to this to stand up so that uh, we help the underprivileged, those who cannot manage, those who cannot afford, so that we can see them to be better people in society and also in the Lord, serving the Lord as well.